This is a high speed router. This is called a stylus. This follows the pattern. This duplicates it over here and wherever I go. So I would mark the outside like that, which gives me a line to cut to. Lee Helgland is my name since 1996. I've been building as high quality a sporting arm as, as I possibly can. You have to have this original familiarity with and fascination with using guns, otherwise you'd never end up here. You would be a cabinet maker or something other than that. This is the Flathead Valley of Montana and the city of Kalispell. It's called Big Sky Country for a reason, even in the short days of winter. But it's also gun country and a place that has become home to some of the world's finest gunsmiths. There are a number of different disciplines here. You have to be a metalsmith. You can see a, a turning lathe and a milling machine and a surface grinder. And then you also have to be a woodworker. <coughs> Gun production is growing fast in the town of Kalispell. In addition to the high-end firearms, thousands of rifles and rifle parts are produced in factories here each month. Montana is a very gun-friendly state. You know, my gunsmiths in here grew up with guns. You know, there's a lot of craftsmen here, but there's more moving in because of the industry right now. So. And guns have brought jobs here. In 2005, there were just 22 jobs in the gun industry. In the third quarter of 2012, there were 250. Gunsmithing in the valley alone is, is a pretty big deal. Brandon Miller moved to Kalispell from Oklahoma three years ago, drawn by the natural beauty of the place and the community of gun-making craftsmen. To have that cohesive environment between the gun makers is just a good place to be because a lot of times we'll outsource something, say I'll make a, I'll make a really nice stock, but I'm not very good at doing the metal work. Well, here in the valley, we'll, we'll work with each other, to, whatever you're strong with, you can assist me in making you know, this best rifle possible because I'll do what I'm really good at and you can do what you're good at, and between the two of us, we'll end up with a really nice product. Last year, Mr. Miller helped start a week-long gunsmithing course at the Flathead Valley Community College. It teaches them from everything from barreling the guns to uh, putting a, a stock on the guns to checkering and adorning those stocks. While the debate over gun control rages across the country, people like Jerry Fisher, a master gunsmith, concentrate on perfecting their craft. Mr. Fisher and others here say there is little connection between the terrible recent shooting events in other places and the work that they've given their lives to. I wish more young people could see some of these weapons that we make so they would understand what the difference is between we weapons that kill and weapons that are made for enjoyment and sport hunting. The reason that things like Connecticut, you know, Colorado and Portland don't happen in Montana, because you just don't know who's packing and they know how to handle a firearm and they make the first shot count. 